Welcome to HTML4 video series. We are again continuing with the form. This is part 25 and today we are going to look at the text area. The above two guys are done so let's move on and let's check out uh, what do we have. So this is the final copy. We are done with this and this. So I'm going to say blah 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 blah. Now this is the next guy. Okay. So we are going to build this thing. Okay. So in order to build that thing what we need to do is we need to go back and we need to open this thing with the notepad and now let's have a look what do we have done so I'm going to remove this crap out of here so this looks nice and as usual I'm not doing anything strange here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this row as you can see once I copy these rows I get two columns one will be an address and one will be where I put the data but this is a bit different over here the tag is text area it's not like input type is equal to something this is a bit different okay text area text area enter your address in here okay and you can have a name of this text box as name txt address all right alt fs now let's have a look in the browser how does it look like open up so you can see you have the data right but what is this have i messed up something with the code well yes i did i was supposed to close this one i didn't all the first let me try again one more time and let's hit refresh yeah perfect now everything looks nice and correct like expected so this is how I enter the default values the way I want okay and the next thing now we are going to discuss about the properties you all know now the name is something uh, we represent the control by that the main purpose of using name or ID is when you submit the form and if you want to get the value out of that control we use name or ID so that's the purpose of name and the other purpose of name or ID is when we play with JavaScript uh, if you are not aware with JavaScript JavaScript is something a scripting language um, using which uh, we can manipulate data at the client side not at the server side if you don't understand this shit let it go let's move on you are familiar with now read only and disabled right so you have seen those things so it's nothing new read only means the text you cannot change disable means it's gone you cannot do anything so the property if you want to set it should be like disabled where are you okay so disabled should be equal to disabled let me hit refresh and let's check one more time and as you can see this guy is gone I cannot do anything in here right so this is one of the properties we are discussing about now there are two interesting properties we need to look over here is called as rows and columns as you might have guessed the row means how many rows I want to occupy with this control okay so I'll say rows equal to 20 on purpose and columns equal to let's say 10 and let's see how does it look like now this is gonna get real ugly because I have given a huge amount so you can see at the top the rows are 20 and the columns are 10 if I want I can make the columns high to go 40 across the white so now the column gets more widened right so it depends you can control the text area uh, using this again it's your choice right so it's better in my case I let it uh, stay as default as what it is so it looks nice if I want something I can go like this right so I hope uh, we have uh, you got the idea about the text area control in the next we are going to cover either checkbox or radio button so thank you for watching this video good night and take care